from the outside looking in, you would think all is well in Charlestown. You'd think these people are really enjoying their life. They are pleasant. They are peaceful. They have nothing to worry about. All is well. But there's a dark cloud hanging over their heads right now. Or rather, I should say, there's an emptiness in their stomachs. <laughs> Welcome back to Manor Lords, everyone, where we are dealing with a food crisis in Charleston. Did you see the population's been growing? But unfortunately, that population growth, well, it's, uh, it's not going well. We don't have enough food production in this area, and it's hard to grow food. We just don't have a lot of fertility here, so we need to find other ways to get food. And so, you know, uh, most of these burgage plots are dealing with, like, vegetables, and we've got chickens, you know, so we have a good supply of eggs, things like that. We are, I am attempting to anyway, it's right here, see, approval not matter, what do you, what do you, like, food supply, yeah, exactly. So, we're going to have a problem with approvals in this town, I think, unless we can bring in, you know, the good stuff. So, here's what I'm going to do. My treasury has a thousand gold, because collecting taxes has been wonderful. <laughs> um, we're going to put some of the regional wealth in Charleston, though. It's at 2200 we're gonna put some of that to work to bring in food so in the trade screen uh, i've got a couple of things i'm gonna do here i think the first thing i'm gonna do is make sure that we never run out of wheat so that we can constantly produce bread on our own so i'm gonna say we keep let's say 50 as our desired surplus and then i'm gonna establish a trade route here it's gonna guarantee that we always have the wheat coming in okay and actually, I might just go to 100 on this. Eh, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. 50 is fine. All right. We're going to make sure that the wheat's always coming in. That way, we can make our own bread. Now, I could import the bread, but that'd be more expensive. If I import the bread directly, it's cost me 14 in, in each instead of 12. Here's what I want to do, though. Okay? We need to get to better prices. If we're going to be using pr trade, we're going to need to get to better, pri better prices. And I didn't want to do this. Right? I, didn't, I don't want to. Um, I'd, I'd rather do other things. Um, like I want to go down here. So for a while, at least until we can recover, we're going to be paying that overage, but it's going to keep us alive and hopefully keep our people happy. Okay. We have the wealth and we have the good, we have good trade with other things, right? We're going to leverage this iron. We have lots of iron. We're leveraging that. And I think it'll be fine. Um, next, if I go over to food as a category, we're going to make sure that we always have meat. So that means we're importing meat as well. And also eggs. You just at least at least have 20 eggs always. And vegetables, at least 20 always. Okay, so when the traders come by, we will be trying to purchase some of these things. Right? And, you know, we can always export what we have a surplus of. But, you know, like right now we have a, a surplus of firewood. And there's a lot of dyes here too. I guess we could probably look to... Oh, you know what? Actually, we should be using the dyes now. Right? To make cloaks. Yeah. But that's a very expensive trade route. Look at this. 144 as opposed to just having this and it's always 25 right but it's a one-time cost so it might be worth it to trade stuff like that so if we get a lot of commodities and sh like shoes for example right if we can make a lot of shoes we can make a lot of money for those shoes right it's only eight but uh, eight, eight each but still good we're also making a good amount of ale, but that trade route also requires 144. So uh, we're just going to have to wait on that. Now, speaking of ale, I want to head over to Goldorf really quick. And uh, we actually got two settlement promotions here. Two it's Settlement level went up twice because I prompted level two developments here, right? I wanted level two housing to be, to be put in here and a bunch of them, and then they built it. So that gets you the levels. So the first point I put into here, bakeries. It allows us to make bread from flour more efficiently, twice the efficiency of communal ovens, but it uses those burgage plots. It uses the, the you know, it makes artisans to do that, but that's okay because it's going to be almost twice efficient. So what I have here is I've got a bakery here, 
which can make bread, you know, and then I got a bakery here. And so as long as we have a lot of wheat, which we're growing wheat in this region. So as long as we've got a lot of wheat and we can process that in the mill, you know, to get, to get the flour and everything, we, we should be all right. Now, whether or not we can actually get enough of it is my big question. And so far, I, I don't think we actually have any left, right? Uh, we have 183 wheat is what it says. So 183. Oh, I wanted to do this too because I had comments for this. I have hit this button once. I, I promise you, I have hit this button once, but I went back because I know exactly where I hit it before. I went back and I actually cut that out of the video. So that's my bad. Tab. You can hold tab. And you can see a list of all your stuff in here, okay? I've done it. Okay, I swear. <laughs> but I cut it out before and I was like, uh, I had a like a quick little 30 second monologue about how this is cool, but it's just like in general, I don't like the interface. I don't like how the UI, I think it's too cluttered. There's stuff all over the place. I don't generally like stuff like that. Um, but I, I just, I had my reasons before. I don't remember how I said it, but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I hit that. If you want to see stuff and there's a readout like real quick on every house and stuff, tab is pretty helpful in, uh, in, in showing that. Okay. Uh, you can also see, for example, which one of your burgage plots have families in them, for example. And that's pretty helpful, too. So, Walburn's going to grow on its own. That should be fine. The granary is going to need... Uh, the storehouse needs somebody. There we go. Now, the storehouses hopefully will make, you know, marketplace access for these guys, too. Uh, okay, so yeah, Goldoff is, uh, what, six months? Seven months of food. Walburn is fine forever. Uh, like two years worth of supplies. So it's really just Charlestown that's having a big uh, problem. All right. So I'm, I need to get food over here. In Goldoff, we have another point to develop. And I'm tempted to go into beekeeping here. So that we can have the bakeries and everything. Now, this side here is fertilization. I've been told this in the comments as well. How you can allow your animals to... It basically allows a fallow field to serve as a pasture. And rapidly restore fertility so you can have your your sheep for example graze in your fallowed fields and fertility goes way up right that's cool but i don't have sheep breeding as well i don't have a lot of animals it's okay i'm doing crop rotations i'm not sure a point is ded like dedicating a point to this is really all that helpful or really all that good but I could do orchards here too. So I'm, I'm like, I want food. Okay. This region is all about food. And that's what I want out of gold office food. So like, this is fine, but for a whole point into it, I don't know if it's worth it. Right. Beekeeping gives me honey. Orchards give me apples. I can only have two of these at most. I don't know if that's worth it as well as much as the orchardry is. And so I kind of want orchards here. And uh, also, orchards leads me down to rye as well. I don't really have a need for rye, but it's just another crop that can be turned into flour, right? So I just grow something else that has a lot of fertility. It's still very good, right? I can make more bread. So I think I'm going to go down orchardry. But I think I mean I'm going to. I'm going to hit that button. We're going to go down orchardry and gold off as well. And then we're going to work towards rye cultivation in here. It gives me another crop that I can turn into bread. And then I can trade bread into Charleston to give it more food. Down here, I've got my pack stations. Uh, I can't buy any, can't buy anything apparently. No, nope. uh, I have to wait because I already bought it. So I should have, I thought I had four donkeys, four mules, but apparently it's only three mules. I thought I had four by now, but all right, it's fine. Um, we have a couple different trade routes, right? Firewood for charcoal. I like this. It means I don't need charcoal as a perk in this area. Uh, I can send the firewood that way and receive stuff that's even more uh efficient from this from this area so i like that uh, we're gonna keep it then i have a uh, pack station linen and for yarn i think that's fine we're just trading different types of things that's gonna be a fine trade uh and then this one here this is my was well, gonna be my bread trade but i went over to charleston as well they have a mule all right charleston has a mule at this pack station and so what I decided to do with Charleston is we're going to send shoes over to Goldoff because they don't have all that diverse clothing and we're making a lot of shoes and then we're going to receive bread. So we're going to do that bread trade here. And I think that's a, it says pretty good barter value, I guess. So yeah, 
Uh, 2x. So when moving things between regions, the exchange value of goods needs to match. For example, if you exchange iron at, let's say, 14 silver per unit, for firewood at 7 per unit, the barter value is 2x. You get 2 firewood for every iron. I would imagine that these are not that close. So it says 2x, right? And so we're going to be receiving 2 bread in exchange for 1 shoe. That's fine, right? I need more bread. I want the food to be sent in here, right? So that's what we're working on. Now, the builders should be getting this stuff done, but it's unfortunately going to be winter very soon here. And so we're going to need to build these throughout the winter. And then uh, the vegetables, which looks like they're... Oh, are you guys harvesting them? Looks like they are. Yeah, they're, they're starting to collect them, which is good. We need that food push, pushed into the market, please. And maybe make a stall here, yeah? Let's pretty, pretty, pretty please make a stall right here. It'd be really great if you did. You know, just saying. It'd be helpful. Level three. Uh, we're just going to keep upgrading shops to level three. So if I look up here, uh, we need 10 of these Burgage plots to be level three in order to get to medium town. So I've got a lot of them. You can see these ones are getting upgraded right now. These ones are getting upgraded right now. No, lots of them here. I might actually switch some of these goats. So the goats provide hides passively, which has been fine, but I kind of think I need something else, right? I almost want to switch it to chickens just to give me more food. But eggs is the only thing we're really keeping up on really well. So <laughs> basically everybody's just having eggs. That's it. Eggs and vegetables at the moment. But, you know, we need a lot more plots for vegetables. And that's what this over here is going to hopefully help us do. Um, I'm actually not certain about this whole market idea, right? About people having two markets, like having a market over here. I don't think they'll they'll come into the market. They have to be living close to this market to use it. Which is why I've given them the stalls over here. But I'm not convinced that they're going to make stalls over there. Right? They seem to really just want this plot until it's full, and that's not what I want. Yeah. And obviously, yes, you can tab here to see what they're low on. Yes, absolutely. Uh, malt house. No. I'm just trying to figure out where can I possibly put people to make this better, right? We have got 85 wheat in stock somewhere, but it's not being processed. It makes no sense. Where is this being? Where is this at? It's sitting over here. This farmhouse has it in its inventory. So, uh, granary. Maybe if I get an extra person working the granary, we can... Uh, I only have one one person left. That's no good. Another ruler's army was sighted. Oh, where are you going? Through my territory again. Over to the bandit camp. Yeah, you're just trying to get that, uh, that reputation bump, you know? Yeah, you're trying to get that. That's fine. Uh, we will uh, we will greet you because we can. We will greet you. Uh, we want to go. Let's have them rally. Yeah, let's right here. Just rally right here. It's fine. We're going to go steal it. Uh, large storehouse. We added some cloaks to the large storehouse. I would like to, to make enough of this resource to where we could sell it. You know, and have it help pay for food would be really great. If we could have all that stuff pay for food, that'd be great. I don't know how I feel about this uh, dedicated trade route for for wheat. You know, I kind of feeling like I maybe should have just went straight for the bread. <laughs> but I felt like I could save some money if I processed it myself. I have the the mechanisms to process it myself. Albeit it's a communal oven, so it's not very efficient, but, you know, I have the ability to do it. I certainly don't need two people in the charcoal kiln. I don't need I don't need two people in there. I've got lots of charcoal. We are, of course, shipping charcoal with the, uh, the mules and stuff, though, so we'll have to see. We'll keep an eye on it. We have so much firewood, 10 months. It's just the food that's a really big problem. And that's where my extra builders are going to come in and hopefully get this done. All right. This other ruler sided thing. It just keeps pausing me. There's a lot of them coming in, man. He really outdoes himself. He has so many people coming in just to take down some bandits. You know? Like, what do you need this many soldiers to, for the bandits for? 
Look at this. We got what? 36. 36. They're all 36, right? Yeah. Only if they 5-3. <laughs> but seriously, like this is... Uh, I mean, it's... it's it's overwhelming force. There's only 20 guys here, right? There's only like not even 20 guys here. Like that's that's overwhelming. You don't need that much. Which makes me think you're making a play, right? You're going to be uh, you know, trying to take this territory or take another territory. You just want that reputation. Right? Which is fine. You can have it. That's that's okay. Just going to make sure I'm coming in right behind you. Should be should be all right. Yeah. Coming in right behind you. Hold hold position until they until they move. Until they move. And they are reacting. Waiting orders. Man, they're not they're gonna let him get right in here. There he goes. Gonna let him get right up in here. Alright, cool. So now we can run in. They're already headed towards the other army. I don't need to sit around anymore. Right? My army's gonna come all the way down here and take this. And then hopefully it gives the wealth to somebody else. Did you guys just... Oh, are you... You're going around to try to come up behind them? Like, that's... I mean, great. Good tactic and all, I guess. But, like... It's so unnecessary. You have so many more people than they do. Alright. Again, I'm going to try to give it to the nearest town. I don't think it's going to go to the correct town. Regional wealth gained 158. It went to gold off. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, it should go here. It always should go here. Maybe I have to have a certain building in place in order for this to go to Waldbrin. I would have loved it to be here. I really need to develop these plots. But it is what it is. All right. All right. Let's have these guys come on back to their home region. And uh, Goldoff's only got four months of fuel. I mean... We could do something about that we have extra people too it's the it's the trade right i need that trade i need to know where my donkeys are where are my mules okay can i see like a readout of i don't know it's like a, a readout i'm looking for like a workers and resources vehicle list kind of thing like where are my where are my mules at all i can see is that there are three but i don't see where they are I guess I could probably just check the road. Maybe they're heading down the road somewhere. Is this is this one? This is one. Okay. So he's transporting yarn. That's cool. Uh, this one here. Here we go. You are transporting the charcoal. Okay. So this is the charcoal coming back. Good. So we're going to get some of it at least. It just takes forever. I feel like I'm spoiled with, you know, all the trucks and everything. Being able to bring things around and workers. It's like... Sure, we'll just have a couple in a knapsack on a on a mule. That's our trade route. Ta-da! Okay, fine, I guess. All right, so what was I going to do for this? This is Charlestown again. I wanted bread. I wanted to send bread to Charlestown, but like I don't think we're making enough bread to send it there. Right? Uh, we've got no bread at all. Our people are just eating it all up. So there's that. Mm, okay. I'm not sure we can do anything with this yet. We don't have any grain. We have tons of like so much wheat here. We just have to make it. It's really just about making it. And maybe it has to do with needing like another mill. Or maybe more people in the mill. Maybe I need more workers in this mill to process all that wheat. Right? That makes sense. We can get an extra person in the granary to help out with moving things around. The fields themselves don't have any storage in them anymore because the weather destroys it if you don't harvest it quickly. So there shouldn't have anything in there. Yep, that's good. The storehouse has nobody working there. I got an extra storehouse over here just so they could provide for this area. Oh, wait, no. It's... uh. Not store. Oh, I was going to put some farms and stuff over here. Yeah, yeah I was going to try to develop this. Um, but I'm not sure I need that storehouse anymore. And then... Uh, do I need planks? No. I have so many planks. Oh, my gosh. 
Is this? Oh dear. Oh dear, the church is on fire. Uh, the church? The church? <laughs> the roof is on fire. Okay. Somebody set fire to the church. Now, I should have a well in the area, right? There's a well. So maybe people could react to the, the fire? A fire broke out. Yep, there it is. So this is the first time we've actually seen a fire in this game. Will the rain help me? That would be interesting if the rain helped with fires. Dude, the fire looks really cool, though. Look at this. That looks awesome. And they're just like going to... Yeah, yeah. Chuck the water on it with, with the buckets. Yeah, that'll totally save this church. No, nah, this church would be so screwed. There's no way that... Whoa. <gasps> Whoa, it's actually... De it's actually breaking. Like the top of it just broke down. Broke off. That's crazy. Look at all these guys running back and forth trying to put this out. It's like an emergency. Everybody's going for the well. Whoa. Look at it. Just the building is like slowly coming apart. That is cool. I mean, it's, you know, it sucks. They don't have a church anymore, but so, it's so cool. How it just comes apart piece by piece like that. It's like, the it's like building, right? It builds gradually. Now that, that was, that's not quite as cool. All right. So now the whole thing just, just got destroyed. So apparently that's just impossible to save. Uh, the church is the fire for the church is just too damn hard to to do that. So now we're gonna have to rebuild it. So I guess that requires us to bring all the all the goods back to it then, right? I guess. Yeah, we're only down to four months on this. I I, I gotta imagine we're gonna be fine though, because this this place is gonna get some charcoal. Only two? No. Come on. Come on, you guys are not doing one and two, right? This is a transporting charcoal. Okay, hold on. How much charcoal do you drop off? I want to know. You going to the storehouse over here? Okay, how much charcoal? We have one left. All right. We have only one when she dropped it off, right? How, how much did she... I'm not seeing any more. Oh, this is just not efficient. I do not. I, this is not going to work. I mean, we have the firewood. That's fine. But the trade does not work for this. The volume is just way too low to matter. Hmm. Way too low to matter. What do you guys have a lot of? Berries? We could send berries. Send berries. Receive. I don't know, man. Um, receive roof tiles. We're going to need it for upgrading the building, so we can't make it here. So berries and roof tiles. I mean, it's just not a good trade, right? It's just not. Uh, I don't know. The mules don't seem very effective. <laughs> uh, that's what it is. All right, Charlestown, you're still cruising with two months of supply here. And it doesn't look like we're able to get a whole lot for trade either, because maybe we order a horse. Is that going to work for me? Should it go here? I'm going to order a horse and see if that helps at all. Trading post horse. There is a... Uh, yeah, we should have that permanent livestock worker here. So as soon as the horse gets here, it should be assigned here. I'm hoping anyway. Let's see. It says we have one horse. When is it going to arrive? Oh, there's six gold. But that's... You, you purchased something from us. I want you to... I want you to sell stuff to us. Sell food to me, specifically. Oh, boy. Did I just waste my money on a on a horse that won't show up again? Oh, what's this? Is this is this my horse? That's you. That's your horse. I don't need that. Come on, where's my horse? 72 gold. There we go. Now we're cruising. Now we just bought some food. We got 42 food. We just bought some eggs, looks like. Maybe some meat. Meat and vegetables, I think, is what we bought. Maybe even two veg. 
Oh, we have so many inappropriate, so many inappropriate references today. Oh, the kids are not going to understand what I'm talking about. They're just not. Poor quality, you say? Impossible. Okay. How many, how many houses we got? Eight out of ten. We need to get up there one more level. Eight out of ten. So this one could be level three, and this one could be level three. When those are done, we're going to be considered a medium town. And we're going to get a new point. What are we putting the point into? I want honey. Beekeeping? If we went down orchards... You know what? I probably should have... Again, this is one of those things where as you play it once, you kind of get a feel for how things work and then you can plan ahead because I haven't had that, right? If I was going back to do it over again, right? Would not have done heavy plow. Would have went for this, you know, sooner. Um, Would have most likely... I think for the most part, I did okay. But like heavy plow, maybe not. I would have went with orchardry instead. Uh, or I would have, you know, stayed down here and, you know, managed to get armor making and stuff. But the orchardry leads to rye and I can grow rye here. And that's something that I can make bread with, right? I would have done more to get my food supply up. So I think orchardry is actually what we should do with this next point. It gives us another source of food and it gives us access to rye next time. The honey is cool, but the fact that you're only limited to two apiaries per region is a little weird. Like, that's... I don't know why you would only limit me to two. Doesn't make as much sense as I would like it to. But, all right. So. All of these Burgage plots. They are all... They all have the timber delivered. Every single one of them. We're just waiting on builders. I can help with this. We can take the logging camp down. We have enough timber. We can take down the logging camp. That's four families of builders. Go and do things. Go and build things. Okay. Two months of food. We're just holding st a steady at two months of food. I think I'm going to take the dyes workshop down. How, much, how many dyes do I have? I have a lot of dyes. Let's stop using berries for dyes. We won't need it. There we go. Gr we have grain, 17 grain. We got flour. We got some ale over here, which we shouldn't have ale over here. Yeah, it's it's discontinued. I don't think they'll add any more. What I've done though is I've I'm going to put in this granary right here. And this is where we're going to store the ale. And that way the tavern can just restore its supply from here. So a little granary on this side. We're going to make the priority on that low, though, so that they do everything else over there instead. We now get another development point. There we go. And I think, yeah, orchardry. I think that's where we're going to be here. Um, as much as I want to make armor, I have to look at the needs of my people. And the needs of my people are food, food oriented, right? We're up to now three months. Okay. We have lots of firewood, lots of charcoal. This horse... Well, first off, the poor guy that's got to walk next to the horse instead of just riding the horse. But this horse is ours. This is our horse. Yeah. Uh-huh. So if I go to my trade area over here, my trading post right here, right? Uh, that horse is coming back to rest, right? So it's... I think that's ours, all right? Permanent placement or whatever. So um, it looks like it worked uh, getting the horse. It seems anyway like it worked. So we'll see. We have uh, lots of level three plots. This place is looking pretty developed now. Huh? Look at these big. Ooh, there's the autosave. Big buildings, right? Like they're they're getting bigger. I like it. And they're not fully constructed yet either. This one is. And look, it's got full supply. Lots of like we're ready to rock. If there was another place to go, we would do it, right? Um, apple orchard, right here. Yeah. Does the size matter? Produces apples, only a fraction of the yield. Uh, orchards produce only a fraction of the yield until the trees are fully grown. See, I don't, this isn't a very big plot, though. I'm actually kind of shift. I, I think because we have apple orchards unlocked, 
I think I'm going to shift it to have these be orchards. I think that would look really cool. Just having a huge group of like, you know, apples growing over here. They're big plots and stuff, right? That's the reason for those big plots is for farming. So yeah, stocks damaged by weather, windmill, gold off. What? Why is your okay, first off? You have a lot of flour, which is crazy. Thank you for that. But also, can we can we make it in the bakery? Bakery, are you making bread? I want to see bread. I only have one bread. This is crazy. I've got so much flour. Go get the bread. You know, I probably need help with the granary. I bet the granary just needs more people to move it. Need more logistics, right? Let's get... I think two more bakeries, honestly. Um, I need level two, I think, here. Plot level's too low. Let's upgrade that one to level two. Uh, upgrade this one to level two. And... I mean, pretty much all of these need to be eventually upgraded to level two. But I'm thinking, yeah, we take uh, this one here. It could be a bakery as well. Like, we just do a whole bunch of bakeries. So that we can have tons and tons of bread made. So we can ship it. Also, ship it that way. That's the entire purpose. Gold off your whole being. The entire reason you exist is for that very reason right there. All right. We're going to have high construction priority on these buildings over here so that we can hopefully get some orchards put in. It takes three years to, for these things to grow. It's going to take a long time, but I'm thinking it's going to be worth it. We got five builders over here to really make this happen quickly. I mean, all the supplies are done, so they just need to get over here and do it. We've, we've already delivered all the wood they require. All right, so over here, we have expanded living space on all these as well, right? So we can do that. But I want to say apple orchard there and there and there and yeah i at least get those started i don't think we have anybody living there yet though so we're still going to need to raise our population and uh taxation is hitting five percent i have so much actually over here that I don't... I have a lot of my treasury. I don't need to tax anymore, right? So I think I'm going to take the taxes down. There we go. Let's make them make them happy. Uh, can they deal with 2%? No. So it's, it's really just about flat out zero. I guess the tithing. They're okay with this? I think not. <laughs> no tithing, no taxes. This is now a tax-free zone, okay? There you go. You're welcome. And then you can be happier without any taxes. And maybe, just maybe, we can grow two people per month and have you all work in these areas here. Um, and I can start expanding the living spaces as well if I want to. Now, these might not have access to things, although it looks like they do. So interesting. Do they not need? Okay. First off, if these guys have access, I'm just going to say, if these guys have access to this market, then there's no excuse for these guys not having access to this market. Right? I mean, that's, I think that's a pretty fair statement, but I also have to think that the needs are met over here because there's nobody living in them. Right? I mean, that's something that we should probably consider. Yeah. Wild animals have migrated. Excuse me? Oh, what? Well, that's not... Wait a minute. I didn't build too close. Oh, maybe I cut down too many trees. Well, the logging camp should have... It has a limited work area. Uh, I don't remember where that is though, so it might I might have cut down too many trees. Whoops. Okay, well, uh, how about you cut down trees over here then? Yeah, open this up for the sake of like traversing for you know wartime. Well, that's not a huge deal, and they didn't they didn't go very far. Um, the hunting camp's not in a great spot, but and also nobody's working there, which is weird. But all right. Um, but we can just go in and, and change the location over here. So that's not too far away. 
I think that's an acceptable distance away. I'm, I'm fine with that. All right, back over here. I want to see these these plots. There we go. Now we were I, yeah, I was gonna do vegetables through here, but I have to have people living here first, so it doesn't kind of doesn't matter. Um, but these are already apple orchards, so I think we're gonna do all apple orchards on this side. Yeah, everything on this side will just be an apple orchard. We'll just mark that in ahead of time. We just need more, more food. Now these over here, we'll decide whether or not that's enough apples and how they're getting distributed and all that. And then once we can see that happening, we can decide whether this is going to be vegetables or more apples. It does take three years for those trees to grow. So it's not going to help us yet. That's what the trading is for. I'm trying to trade for now. And uh, again, I think we probably need, I don't know this, because it does look like the trees are just automatically planted, right? Like, they're here. I don't need anyone living in these houses to do that. So, they're just automatically here. And then we probably won't pick the apples until there's somebody... That's an interesting fence. Probably won't pick the apples, right, until there's people living in these plots. Which is, you know, it's just fine. I'm not going to bother upgrading these plots right now either. Because there's nobody living there. Um, but, Taylor Shop can upgrade to three. What do we need? We need 50. Look at this. Large town is 15 level three plots. That's now. That's it. These two get upgraded. We have that. Right? And I get another development point. And that's where I go to Rye. And then we can farm for Rye. We'll change out all of our fields to where they're going to try to grab Rye instead of wheat. And now we can finally have a good stable food supply. Um, that'll be That'll be nice. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to develop this into more places to live for more people, right? Um, but definitely want that rye fertility. So rye fertility like this, notice how there's not really a whole lot over here. So I'm okay with developing this. The rye would most likely be farmed over here and also right here. Right. And then, um, these fields are already in places where rye is not, so it's fine. But I want to get a, as much rye as possible. So most likely the corpse pit will go. <laughs> um, and then yeah, this will end up being a big rye field that this can handle. Uh, I'll probably put another one right here. That'll be good. Uh, I don't think emmer is going to matter. Yeah, so just rye right through here. We'll probably do rye, rye, fallow, right? And then I can probably put another one right here too. Just like in a weirder shape maybe. Um, and then over here too. So yeah, let's actually clear that out so that we can farm that later. So I'm going to make this area right here a tree free zone so that I can uh, farm that and not feel bad about it after I do. But that extra point is going to be huge. And I don't know what comes after large town. So maybe there's nothing after that. Um, but you know, from that point, I feel like we're probably going to be fine for food. We could have went for trapping, had a passive income of meat. That would have been a good idea. Um, but I really wanted to get down to advanced armor making and stuff. So like somebody else can provide that stuff, right? I think that's that's part of it. You want your towns and stuff to work together. So Charlestown's kind of recovered. That's good. We're going to have it be able to recover more in the, in the future. Walburn has 10 people now. So I think developing its economy a little bit is on the table at this point because it's got extra people. So I want clay furnace. And I think I want the clay furnace to be... Let's put it right on the end of this road here. Eh, I might want, I want, might want people to live here. I'm just going to pop it over here next to the tannery. It's fine. So that's where we're going to process the clay. And then, of course, we want the clay go over the clay pit. There's iron here too, but um, we're going to get the clay pit going first. And let's see about maybe uprooting less trees if possible. Just one is okay. There we go. And then we're going to have the road just come straight this way, I guess. I'm okay with it just being a straight road into town or not. Hey, autosave. How you doing? Good to meet you. There we go. All right. And then we'll have this be first. Build that first. With this being second. Okay. 
So once these two are built, we'll start mining clay, we'll start making the roof tiles, and then we want to get a trading post over here so that we can get some kind of economy going, some kind of trading. Regional wealth can go up. We can then start investing in our people on this side. I really do want... Oh my goodness, the pantry's full. Really? We have 142 bread. Yay! So excited. So much bread. Now, if the if only the mule <laughs> would send the freaking bread. Send the bread. Send it. Send. Sendeth thy bread. Sendeth all thy bread to Charleston. And receive absolutely nothing. I, w I wish. Um, you know, maybe, maybe you can get cloaks, other types of stuff, maybe tools. I don't know. I don't think we really need that. How about ale? We make ale over there. Let's bring the ale back. I like it. Bread for ale. Sounds great to me. Let's go. Order a mule for this one too. Hear ye, hear ye. We will exchange bread for ale. Off you go. Trade the bread with Charleston. That's a lot of bread. <laughs> I'm loving that. All right, good. Ah, they have so much food over there. Waldburn has a lot of food as well. Lots and lots of berries over here. Maybe we could make some dyes. Possibly get some clothing going over here, but like we'd have to have something. Nah, like if we're going to make dyes, we need to ship it in, right? And I just, I don't know. I think the, the berries are fine as a, as a food resource, especially since we're pretty small right now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're too small for that. Charleston's got an upgrade to the tailor shop. This is very close. We're at 14 out of 15. All that's left is one more upgrade right here. The timber's being brought in. And then that'll be it. I think every building, every building at that point will be a level three. Nope, this one's not. Nope, yes it is. This one's just, a, it doesn't have anything that's working right now. Uh, I don't want like a main street building to be a chicken coop. Not really. I really don't want it to be a chicken coop. But it's food, right? It's eggs. So... I can always swap it out. We'll make it chickens for now. We'll swap it out later. There we go. Almost. Almost. Come on now. Is this the last one? That's the last one. There's the timber you need. Finish your construction. And then settlement level is increased. Okay, we are now a large town. And that is the maximum settlement level in this version of the game. I do hope there are other versions, like other levels. As we proceed, I want to see bigger levels. But we've reached the largest wealth level in the game. Okay? And we have room for 78 people. Because all of these upgraded places can handle additional families now. All these extra buildings and stuff back in these plots. I really do like these expansion plots. They're actually really cool. All right. And then the armorer is just making helmets, man. That's all they do. How many helmets we got? 78 helmets. Wow. Can we sell the helmets? That might require a custom trade route, wouldn't it? But you know, helmets are worth six on the trade. We got 78 of them. We could keep that wealth going, you know? I like it. Spend a little bit of wealth here, 108, to have a dedicated route for this. We could export helmets, keeping a stockpile of, let's say, 50 for our own people. I'm not, I'm not really making a whole lot of... I'm not really doing a whole lot of war, so I'm fine with selling most of our helmets. And then our reputation still only 538. I feel like the influence should be rising when like we are we just reached large towns settlement levels going up should have a bigger impact on this it says can be gained from rising settlement level but it didn't it's still 538 unless i have to take over another month or something maybe that's how that works 
And I have no idea how King's Favor works. It's probably not installed in the game yet. If I had to guess, I'd say that's not a thing yet. What's going on with this plot? Is this plot weird to anyone else? Like, what? Why? Why did you do this? Why did you do this? This makes no sense. You were right here, and now you're just indented. How did that happen? You're a level three plot with a chicken coop, too. That's just strange. It's not even like a graphical thing necessarily. They're actually walking to go get it. Like that's, that's this building has been physically moved back. I'd like to see what's inside it, but I can't. It doesn't let me see inside the building. Well, I was gonna walk through the town, but <laughs> no, it ain't. It's uh, a little bit screwed up now, isn't it? You want to walk through our town? This has been something people have been requesting for a bit, and I've shown it a couple times, but. Uh, I wanted to wait until we were really developed before I walked through the town. All right. I wanted to wait until we just had... See, it looks just super, super empty right here. I just want them to make market stalls over here too. So I guess if we want it to not look empty, we just got to go about this far and then we're good, right? Let's just have you... Just real quick, we're just going to stop and like listen as well. Just... Let's listen to the town, listen to the people, okay? So many colors and textures to choose from. Look here, so many colors and textures to choose from. They're going off the same script there, aren't they? Well, perhaps it was simply a bad batch. These things do happen from time to Come one, come all. Well, anything. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Firewood! Vegetables. Get your daily dose of trees. Interesting things on the ground here. You will not find anywhere else. Firewood! Is there a way to... I want to, like, talk to these people. You know? I'd love to have a way to talk to them. Fine selection. Firewood! Is this guy rolling his... I roll in the barrel. That's that's probably not supposed to be like that. Look at this. Look at it roll the barrel up to the inn. No way. Up, up to the the tavern. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this guy's sitting outside drinking, huh? In the cold. Now, are you rolling that directly into the tavern, or are you? Yeah, yeah, right into the tavern. Okay. I can just walk right in. Yeah, he's a little off center, but hey, work in progress, right? Work in progress. I can just walk right through this. So that's, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping one day, right? We see interiors to buildings and can actually walk inside them. How cool would that be to like see the tavern and have the game like switch into tavern master. We can upgrade the interior of the tavern to bring in new people from outside uh, via the King's Road to spend money in our tavern, which would get us wealth. Come on, man. Why not? Because this game is complicated enough as it is for one guy. <laughs> oh, man. This is beautiful, isn't it? Slightly. I mean, these, these buildings look pretty good. These are tier three buildings, I think. They look pretty good. Can't walk inside, right? I mean, I can, because, like, no, I guess I can't. Oh, man. I don't want to get stuck, but... Well, I guess getting stuck, I just hit escape, right? Yeah. All right. Well, she's got superpowers I don't have. This is... This is the view right here, though, right? Heck, yeah, man. The church just... Like, you can... Everyone can see the church super tall you can see the church at the end of this long this long road i just wish that this area right here was more developed i wish there was more going on right here just keep these market stalls going right just keep them going all the way through here that would be great all right let's 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 walk through gold off 
like we got we got to see all of them right we got well not all of them i mean walburn's not really developed enough yet but i'm just gonna see what's the what's the view right you're walking into town you're right you want to walk into gold off from charleston right so you're on your way into town and this is the view you get right which i might have started a little bit too far back but it's fine you guys will those of you who enjoy this kind of thing will enjoy the ex the extended walk of it right even if we're gonna run with our pointy shoes but as you're approaching the town you just sort of see it up on top of the hill you know and this is the part where i'd like to have fences and like you know gates i'd have something like right here like a checkpoint you're welcome in yes who are you yeah, yeah just making sure that you're not gonna like you know set fire to our buildings and such the church has been rebuilt that's pretty fast and then you come into town this is where the mules are for trade so they they're all going that direction anyway so they're all stationed right here at the beginning of town ground looks like it's pretty high pretty high res textures you know i didn't expect that but if you look at it especially if you're watching the videos in 4k if you're new to my channel all my videos have been in 4k for the last two and a half years or so i think it's like two years or so but they're all in as high quality as i could possibly produce every time i find a little niche way of making videos look a little bit better i take it yeah the grounds look really really high textures pretty sharp yeah little market right here it's not nearly as developed as charleston but that makes sense and then you got all these places in here they're not really developed all that much yet but some of these are bakeries and i kind of wanted to see i think this one's a bakery just wanted to see if there's anything different yeah so there's like a there's the ovens and stuff behind them right in the back right as well as like an outhouse maybe oh is he gonna use it yeah 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 so they actually use their ovens in the back of oh that's cool it doesn't just like passively make it right that the people who live here actually go back there and, and do it that's cool all right awesome and then the well all right where are you taking the bucket yeah, he's got the full animation of grabbing it and everything the details man i mean you you got to do it right you got to put these things in because if you're going to give if you're going to give the people who make the game or who play your game if you're going to give them a chance to walk around in first person, you kind of have to you kind of have to do these things, right? Even though this is a big work in progress sort of thing with, you know, me clipping through people and everything, right? I just want to see where the water's going. Is it just kind of just goes inside, right? For just, you know, drinking water, I guess. Although you'd definitely want to boil it first. So that's where the fuel comes in, firewood and stuff, right? Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. I've been waiting for us to, you know, have things that actually properly develop before we look at it. And then we'll, you know, we'll we'll do the same thing to Walburn once it's a little bit bigger. But uh I want to see the mining pit. Let's get two people in there and we'll get one person in the clay furnace. And now we're going to be able to get our roof tiles through here, which should allow us to then upgrade the church to level 2, which will satisfy the needs of any level two burgage plots that we may have through here as they're going to want. We'll go ahead and upgrade these two burgage plots as well. Get them to level two so that Walburn can have its own extra point. And uh, I think for the extra point for Walburn, since we're doing orchardry here, we might as well go to Rye just to get more bread. Um, but the other thing in this area is I'm thinking maybe... Yeah. Well, we could do deep mining, I guess. We have a rich clay deposit, so this would like secure our. Yeah, this would secure mining, and then we can also get charcoal through here because we're gonna want charcoal in this area. I mean, we have lots of firewood, but we're gonna want to make it more efficiently anyway. And then we could also have charcoal sent over here too. That way, this region doesn't need to have that charcoal upgrade. Um, why are there so many animals? Are we not hunting them at all anymore? I think they moved. They must... Oh, I just don't have anybody hunting. That's what it is. 
yeah, nobody's hunting there. Well, we got it taken care of now. And there are so many planks here. It is constant. <laughs> so winter's coming to an end. We're going to start growing the stuff in the fields again. And uh, Charleston has, for the most part, recovered. Uh, it's got about five months of food now. So I've gone in and I've reduced the trading uh, to import here because we're going to be able to get more of it ourselves. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. It's been a, a really cool series so far. And uh, I've only got... I don't know how many more videos we have left, to be honest. There's a lot of ground left to cover. Right? There's still plenty of uh, like regions and stuff to, to work with. Obviously, I want to develop these two. And I can get this stuff going over here. But they have mostly the same stuff. And like most of the same stuff in these ones as well. So uh, my objective, uh, as far as to win the game, is to take over these two territories. And in order to do that, I really have to get my influence up. So I am going to have to start fighting these bandits on my own. I'm going to have to start doing that. Um, you know, but we're just going to have to have a lot of people to do that. So it's really just about scaling and then our militia and stuff. I was asked whether or not if I make a manor in another region, like if I make a manor in Walburn, for example, do I get additional retinue? Like, do I just get those permanent soldiers again? Um, which is an interesting idea. We can try that out. So I can make a manor over here, for example. And I could say maybe my manor is near the church, maybe over on this side. You know, something kind of in into my territory, not so, uh, not so much on the edge. So I could put this over here, for example. And then uh, we can see whether or not that's a thing. If it is, then, you know, having these uh, outer towers and stuff, like this garrison tower, raises the size of our retinue by 12. So... One by region, I just pop that on the side. Boom. Right? So that's one thing we could do. To make an extra big manor over here. We have an outer tower, which would go on the wall. So we'd have a wall. Of course, right? So that's where we put the, uh, the, the fence line here. Make it come around. Kind of like this. It's a little bit wide. I'm not sure if it'll let me actually do this. Uh, and actually, I probably don't want the fence yet. Because making a road is, is better. So the road would come out and be, let's say, something like this would be the road, right? Maybe come down with, yeah, a more curve like this. And then we just want the, uh, you know, the fence to wrap around this with a gate right here. So we'd have the fence and gate. Here we go. So if I was to go with the fence, let's say on this side. And we were just to round it around like this. It eventually would give me this. There's a gate for us to... There we go. Yeah, out like this. And you just have to kind of curve it until it lets you do it. And it probably won't let me commit these resources because there's just a lot. Although it says we have 48. Yeah, so like this is going to cost a lot of resources. 95. We have it. We have what we need to build that. So this could be, right, just alongside the, the road right there, right? There we go. This could be a new manor. One that's significantly more developed than the last one, right? And we have an outer tower here to, like, protect it even further if we want to, you know? Just shoot people down <laughs> as they come at us. I don't know. Pop that there. That extends our, our the range of our place, too. So we can give that a shot, you know, I'll put, put another one over here or something. I don't know, wherever the, wherever I have to be defend from, like we'll defend from this side, I guess. Right. Uh, but now we don't have, yeah, see now we have not enough timber to commit. Right. So I'd have to get rid of this. Uh, we want to remove place module is alt. Nope. Uh, alt, uh, not, not control. There it is. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit too much resources now. Huh? There it goes. Yeah, commit to this. Done. All right. So, hey, we'll build that. It's definitely more developed than the other one. And we'll see whether or not that helps. We have a more forward position, right? We want to protect that more because it's closer to our enemy on that side. And it's also very central. And, you know, maybe Waldburn ends up being a really thriving city one day. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. We'll try it out.
I'll let you know. Bye-bye. Also, real quick amendment in the back of this video. Um, I just noticed when I hovered this, I was looking at my helmets, right? Uh, but I didn't notice that I had so many sidearms and warbows. That's a lot. <laughs> We're going to sell those instead. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to put that out there. Bye-bye. <laughs>